Everybody, I hope you guys are ready <laughs> for the next session of War Robots here. Atomizer versus Pulsar. What do you think is better? Atomizer recently got nerfed. Pulsar didn't. Actually, it keeps getting buffed somehow. Uh, yeah, let's find out. Got it. <laughs> What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome back. Oh, wrong mic. Uh, to the next session in uh, War Robots. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I got myself a haircut. I can't believe it. The hair studios have opened again in Germany. Wow. I look like a human being again. That is wonderful. So I've already launched the uh, boosters as you can see. We have two setups to choose from in today's live stream. Um, and uh, one of them is uh, the Pulsar Warrior Typhon, which I think is the, like one of the best things you can run if you want to have the maximum medium weapon firepower. And then of course the same version, very stylish with two golden and two regular atomizers. I could have gone with four golden ones or four regular ones, I, but I, I chose this, I thought this looks cool. We have overdrive on both of them. This one with death mark because it already locks down with the weapon. This one with lockdown ammo, okay? The difference is 600 meters range, 500 meters range. So that is the difference between the two. And this one locks down, this one doesn't, okay? However, this one has a reload, this one never has to reload. It only has to eventually start to cool down if you fire at long range. And by the way, this is also a fun setup I uh, added here. Uh, it looks ridiculous. I don't know why they made the avalanche look so large. <laughs> it looks completely wrong. It looks like the thing would fall over from the side or it, if it ever gets like sideways, it will never be able to recover from it. It's just waste too much on the top. We also have the uh, Magnetar on the Blitz, so lots of uh, powerful stuff here. So, let's go down uh, to business and go and have some fun here, ladies and gentlemen. So, again, thanks for all the people who are already here watching, even in the first seconds of me blah blahing through the intro. And uh, thanks for everybody who's still going to come on. Um, one more thing I need to tell you is that obviously... Oh, Duke Lay, uh, welcome to the gold membership on the channel. Awesome, dude. Um, one thing I'd like to tell you guys is um, that, as usual, the first hour of the stream or the first half of the stream is um, members-only chat, right? Everybody can watch the stream, but writing is something for members only in the first half. Second half, boom, we open it for everybody and everybody is going to be able to write as normal uh, or as you may, might be familiar with, okay? So, uh, wow, the sound volume is crazy loud, isn't it? Is that a hawk? I don't know. Uh, what is that? An ouch? An, uh, 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 no, not an ouch. It is an ouch one. Yeah, I got him locked right there. I'm act I'm disabling his ability now. He's not gonna be able to fly, but he, he doesn't want to. We have two enemy uh, shell robots there in the center. That's crazy. All right, this guy's going down. There is a guy. And death marking him so that entire my entire team does 20% more damage now. Thanks for the target switch. I always... Don't you love a good target switch? You think you can get out of there? Dude! Okay. I, I think I just... Dis... No, I didn't disable his ability, actually. Alright. I'm getting focused quite a bit. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, let's finish him off. So, overdrive is running. So that means whenever I activate my active module now... I do more than 300% weapon damage, guys. 300%. Okay? More than 300 with death mark. That's the crazy thing about it. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. That's 300% damage right there. Actually, nope, it wasn't because we lost our overdrive. Dang it! You know I hate this. You know I hate when that happens to me, right? When I lose my overdrive because I, I heal past this point. That's why I need to play factory map. I can just hop into the lava and activate my overdrive at will. Maybe they have a hawk somewhere. Okay, here we go. Doing some nice damage to this dude. This is actually where those sonic weapons come in very handy. Because when they hit you... Whoa! Okay then, one weapon left. This is money gaming. <laughs> yup, this is just money gaming, guys. 
one weapon left on the robot. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, next next robot. Uh, let's... <laughs> How did I lose all three weapons at the same time? Luis Andrade again. Hey, man, buddy, with 300, uh, 300 Mexican dollars again. Thank you. Th thank you again for jumping in. What is going... Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lockdown ammo here. We've got him suppressed. We've got him locked. He's He's got last stand running. But his firepower is going... is down. Uh, because he was running the cryo weapons and they have no firepower. Uh, once they're empty, that is gonna be it for them, right? So, overdrive is activated. Let's uh, activate it even further by shooting that leech while he's in the air. And then finishing him off. Nope, we can't. There is a uh, Demeter doing a great job right there. Now we can. Oh! And I just activated the 300% weapon damage, dude. But it doesn't matter. He's down. Low health. Last stand going down here as well. Bam! Okay. So, now we have the 300% weapon damage rolling on this setup. Okay. Uh, I'll be testing Pulsar more. It's just, unfortunately, there was a bit of a hiccup. Um, and we couldn't actually go and test this as much as I wanted to. Every time he gets locked, he instantly activates his ability. Boom, he's down to last stand already. Jeez. Uh-oh. A hockey is in the air. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's falling. Um... Anybody here I can attack, maybe? This guy? No? Yeah? Oh, no, you're not gonna fly. You're not gonna fly. Are you? He is gonna fly. How are you flying? I thought I've, I'm gonna get you before you fly. I guess I should have activated my triple damage there. And he actually made it into safety. But that shield... See, by the way, actually, I want, I want to take some damage. I need my overdrive to activate. Okay, here we go. That's where the hawks are very useful. A hawk is so useful, can you can fire at them, and then you can drop your own um, overdrive. Okay, what is this around the corner here? Okay, uh, triple damage rolling. Triple damage rolling, and he activates stealth unit. That's crazy. Alright. This guy is coming in, and he has his uh, things running. His last stand. I got him suppressed and locked, and there we go. Whew, that was a close one. He really wanted me. I don't know what I ever done to this guy, but he really wanted that... That... Look who's talking. Okay. Adding some lockdown here everywhere. And again, this is truly 300% weapon damage that we're doing. As soon as I open that, act activate that... Um, man, this guy is healing up like a boss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. We have to get him now. Yep. Triple damage was running. We have him locked and suppressed. But he's still doing a lot of damage to us. And the Titan is on us. And I'm dead. Uh, dang it. Okay. But we also have a Titan. We also have a Titan here. A very powerful one. And, of course, he currently has his uh, mode running. His uh, reflector thing. Let's heal up this guy. I'm suppressed. Of course, I'm suppressed. Okay. Okay, there is his reflector running again. Again with the reflector. Really. So, now he's suppressed. His reflector is down. I'm suppressed. Of course I'm suppressed. Are you guys playing in a squad because the amount of team play you guys apply here against me is pretty crazy. Gotta say, man. I am fight- I'm basically fighting both of these people at the exact same time. One titan versus two titans and I had to do this nonsense. What a nonsense- what nonsense, man. Lost two weapons again. But we are in control of the- uh, of the map right now, so that's fine. Let's go with this setup. We have some nice rockets. Uh, I'm splashing a little bit around the corner here. Did I get his last stand? Uh, no, not yet. 
Now the last stand is gone, okay. Okay, he's now coming around the corner with his... Wow. You saved that ability for something. In the next match, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna try and make a, a longer survival uh, with the thing happen. I want my overdrive to activate first, so that's why I'm kind of just waiting it out here. Here, let me get into that circle for, of him. Or not, if he's walking away like that. Ah, oh, he's dead already. Okay, you help me with a low... Uh, okay. Whoa, we had a couple of donations running in. So, Luis Andrade, nice ha haircut, bro. I'm I'm early now, and I, I'm uh, on a free day. Ready to enjoy the stream, dude. Uh, just dropping some motivation for the stream. Your content, every uh, every channel rocks, dude. Luis Andrade, thank you so much, my friend. And glad to hear you having a free day. That is awesome. You can actually finally watch and not just listen to the stream this time. Again, thanks for the 300 bucks, man. Uh, the uh, Mexican dollars, I guess we're going to say, but still, really awesome. Thank you, man. WTX Game to the 5 Euro. Uh, hallo Manni, ich liebe deine Videos. Ich habe äh, hab einen Hunger für das äh, die, die ID und so weiter. Ah, okay. WTX, thank you, man. I am still not sure how to do the whole uh, Manny plays your hangar thing. I believe it's something that I will do with the members. Uh, but I also don't know how to like the how to uh, find which hangar I choose next. I, I'll, I'll have to come up with an idea to do that. But uh, thanks, man. Um, Boom, uh, boom, what is that? Bumpnatic Freddy. Well, look, let's log into the next match while we're reading. Bumpnatic Freddy with a $2 super chat. Hey, Manny, this is my first donation. I'll join member. Thank you, Bumpnatic. That is awesome. Should I call you Bumpnatic or Freddy or both? And then he actually did follow up on his, on his, uh, you know, promise. And he became a silver member afterwards. Thank you, man. Awesome. Welcome to the, uh, to the, to the clan, to the, to the group, to, <laughs> to, yeah, to the club, I guess. Awesome. So, Team Deathmatch. This is where long-range setups shine, all right? You know that. You know that Team Deathmatch is where you want to play um, long-range setups more than in Beacon Rush. So, let's see how well we can do with that, all right? Um, uh, Leech would be a great target. I already went and brought him down to really low health. I am taking damage, which is actually pretty good. I do want to get that overdrive activated, right? You know that. I want that overdrive to run, and it's running now, and that leech is dying. Bop, there he goes. That was a leech, and my overdrive is gone again. I can't believe it. All right, I couldn't catch him, but I might be able to get that Ares now. Yep, Ares is done too. Wait a minute, this is a, f I think this is a clan, or at least two of them. At least two guys are playing in some kind of squad here. I have to play a bit careful. I don't want to lose a robot as quickly as I did in the first match. So let me just gain a bit of distance to them and try and play from my max range. Because why would I go into 500 or 400 meters if I have 600 meters range, you know? So here, uh, activating the added damage. Oh wow, he actually made it around the corner before he got locked down. I still need to get uh, overdrive to run, so... Yeah, this guy is not gonna make it though. This guy's never gonna... Oh, actually, wait, he is doing damage. A little bit more, buddy. Yeah, a little bit more. I need a little bit more damage. Come on, come on. A little bit more... Arr, I can still heal past it. Oh, oh, we're having some music rolling in. Bam, 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 bam. Look how quickly I just dispatched that, um, that scorpion. Yeah, I increased the volume. Preventing his teleport back with the ability... Overdrive, guys. I need you. You there, Lily Big Balls. I need him. Or a hawk. Or I need a hawk. Oh, man. I just wanted to prevent his flight. Oh, that might be a good target as well. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, 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 ah. There comes the damage. That's how we do it in the Manny Town. And boop! There you go, man. Your ability is deactivated. You're not going anywhere, my friend. And now I'm pretty sure he's mad. He's like super mad at me now. Because I killed his robot. Yeah, there he is. He just spawned in. Is it a hawk? It is a hawk. I can finally activate my own overdrive. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. All right, let's gain, gain distance. Now we have 300% damage. Let's show this as soon as we can somewhere. 
I have to get into a place where I can seek cover. Let's go to that, uh, to that falcon of ours. And bam 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 bam. Oh, he's coming over here now. I got him locked, which is awesome. And his last stand is dropped. Okay, he cannot use his ability now. Because I deactivated it. Yeah, this is 600 meter range goodness. Uh, every time I activate the added... Uh oh, your, your ability is deactivated now, sir. Wait a minute. Uh, what? He healed up. Okay, triple damage for you, Nightingale. Oh, come on! Every time I activate triple damage, they walk around the corner. Did you see that? Every time I activate this, they walk around the corner and are in safety. Boom. Got him. Can I get back up here, by the way? I don't want to have to walk all around. Yep, it worked. Now. Damn. Yep. Gotcha. Opa. Nice. I love this song, man. So he's gonna come for us now. Let's make it a little quieter. And your ability is deactivated. No, it's not. Wow, I thought I deactivated his ability, but apparently I didn't. Alright, you know what? Let's go at a Titan with 300% weapon firepower, okay? That's gonna be insane. I have to get in 600 meters range though, let's see if that works, here we go, and 300%, more than 300% actually, look at that damage, oh, that's a full Ao Ming just completely super snacked, now he's flying away in absolute fear, in total freaking fear he flew away, not knowing what in the world just happened to him, okay he's firing his cannon now, and boop! Oh, that hasn't worked because the game lagged, of course. Ba 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 de 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 Let's do triple damage against him here. Locked and boom, triple damage coming. Dum 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 dum. And he even has his resistance up right now. He even has his resistance going at that moment, man. Going at this Titan there. So when this Nightingale lands, then I'm gonna hopefully be ready for him. Come on, Nightingale. -y. There you go. There we go. And. Oh, wow, you did that, didn't you? Okay, pop, I got you anyways now. Suppressed, locked, ability locked, and everything is... Oh, actually, wait, I think his anti-control kicked in again. Oh! Wow! Wow, what am I gonna do now? One Ares fully loaded to my right, and the Titan to my front. What am I gonna do there? Death, that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, how they, how they absolutely screwed me right there. That was insane. Okay, he managed to actually get my uh, ability activated. Okay, here we go. Alright, triple damage is running, but uh, I die anyways, because it's... Was it both? Yeah, it was both of them. It was both of these dudes. It was both of them. They're in, in one clan together, and I killed one of them, and the other got me. So, let's go back, take revenge. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's let's heal up that Titan. Boom! Did you see that healing pulse that I just did to him? I instantly healed him up to like I don't know 70% health from nothing that he had before. Of course, the Titan is on me, um, but uh, he's going down. He's got two Titans in front of him now. <laughs> yep, you're going down, man. But the problem is that my buddy here is also going down. 
I'm going to help him first. And then I'm going back for the instant healing pulse. Let's see, and boop! Didn't work. I was out of range, apparently. Thank you, Warabots. Thank you for your nonsense healing si system. I don't know why I couldn't just select him and give him a healing pulse. Just because I was five meters away, really? That close you have to get to make use of a regular, just regular healing thing? Okay, here we go. Healing activated. You shouldn't be running out of that shield, man. He ran outside of my shield. Look, he just literally walked out of that shield range. That was a very smart move, sir. I'm giving you a freaking shield and you walk away from it. Okay, you're going down now. And uh, I got no way to, to shield him. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I still have that shield at least. So that's gonna be helpful at least for a little while. Okay, then I'm gonna walk away. Or actually, could you... You can't even call this walking. This isn't walking. Yeah, his shield got broken and so he li died really quickly. Yep, there we go. That was the last enemy, wasn't it? Healing him up. Boop, insta pulse. Oh no, there's one more guy. So, taking a look at the uh, donation messages, we have uh, Cedros Legend, uh, who also became a member. Thank you, man, for joining in. We have Ivan Marksmeyer with $2 super chat. Here's my money, lol. <laughs> what a comment. Hey, here's my money. Hey, man, thank you, dude. Ivan, you're cool, dude. Uh, Mahui, no, Ma Ma Ha Mahiu, uh, has all, Mahiu Sa has become a member as well. That's awesome, man. Welcome. And, uh, I first read Mahoney, which reminds me of Police Academy, dude. Awesome music! And no, uh, awesome movies, I mean. You have to watch them. If you haven't yet seen Police Academy, you're missing out, guys. Oh, I think six, is it five or six, um, six parts? Um, Police Academy, really funny things. Anyways, 1,400 people are here. Awesome, guys. Thanks you for joining in. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, but you like the content, I don't know, could be, right? Uh, then subscribe to the channel now if you haven't. Um, we did a lot of damage. We did run the Pulsar most of all. One thing I really like to see is getting Canyon Springfield. Yamantau isn't ex doesn't exist right now, thankfully. I hate Yamantau, but um, that would be good to get Canyon or Springfield. Those two map maps would be ideal for Pulsar and also for Atomizer. Like, 500 and 600 or more meters range weapons do exceptionally well there. They don't do it that much here, though. Let's start with the Warrior Typhon, okay? Nice. Alright, let's go in and have some fun. Uh, we have the lockdown ammo, so if people don't have the anti-control, then we will be able to instantly lock them down. So let's see if that's going to work, alright? Uh, someone... Actually, I guess I should be capturing this beacon now. Um... I'm a little afraid of scorpions. I don't like scorpions very much. Uh, they are very fearsome. We have him... Or we would have him locked, but unfortunately he had anti-control. Also, this guy also had anti-control, but I just activated both of these people's anti-controls, so... Uh, they won't be able to make use of another thing like that. Like this case? See? Now I got it. Because anti-control was released before, so I was able to have a lot of fun with the dude now. And lockdown ammo placed. Boom. What do we have here? A shell robot is coming in. Alright, let's try and work down that shield and... Eventually do something with that. That the problem is that those shell robots really have some HP. There's a shell robot behind us too. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Go away with your shell. Take that shell and put it with a sun don't shine. That's right. Uh, he's suppressed, thankfully. I got him suppressed. That's very useful. And now we got him killed. Awesome. Thank you for the help, dudes. Um. Okay. Uh, what is this guy running? And why is he running away? Can I grab the beacon real quick? Can I, like, really quickly just fool them and be like, Ha ah, My beacon! Okay, I can. No, he's coming in. 
I got him locked. And I'm doing double damage, as you can clearly see here. He is taking a lot of damage right there. Okay, I have his suppressed locked and his abilities are deactivated as well. Unfortunately, that suppression is gonna end now and I'm gonna be dead. They have two gent guys. Gent guys are brutal. If you meet gent guys, probably you're gonna lose. Um, except you have also pretty good clan guys. I mean, there's a, a lot of really good clans in the game. Uh, gent is one of them. If you meet them, they are usually not alone. That usually means you lose. Because for some reason, this game is thinks it's a great idea to put people... Put fully random teams versus full, um, full, you know, pre-mates. That's what the game thinks is cool. It's like putting pre-mates versus full randoms. And I don't, I will never understand why Warobots is doing this. This is like, uh, the worst thing you can do is like letting pre-mates fight randoms. In case of just two pre-mates, that's okay. But if you really have like a full, like, uh, random platoon, then, you know, uh, ra full randoms versus full pre-mates is just horror. That is just complete nonsense. And it happens a lot, by the way. I need my overdrive to activate, so I'm shooting that leech near now. And I want his... Um... Uh-oh. I didn't see that he had the shield going. Double damage running. Okay. Uh, yeah, almost, almost dropped him to last stand. We are in the game still. Let's get this, uh, this Demeter here. Got him. These Pulsars are just brutal, dude. Oh, hell yeah, 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 that's cool. I need that. I need a little bit more damage, but now I'm reloading. And, oh, oh, thanks for the targeting switch. Awesome. Okay, we're uh, probably dead now because he dropped on us. Although, I was able to lock him down and then walk around the corner, so that's good. Um, but I still, I had to reload, and that's why I lost all my HP here. Uh, but at least Overdrive is now running. I guess that's one plus. I came out, attack to try and attack him, while it happened to be that my Overdrive was running. Uh, that my, uh, my weapons were on reload, and I hadn't noticed that. Okay. Uh, and the match is over. That was a quick one, dude. Wow. But I told you, we were gonna lose this really quickly on Beacon Progress. Oh, we, we finished the Game of Thrones. WTX Games, how do you like Game of Thrones? You know, Game of Thrones, probably, in my opinion, one of the biggest TV shows ever made. These, this is such an epic journey and so amazing. I, I just could not understand anybody not watching Game of Thrones, honestly, and I'm not getting paid to say this. I love Game of Thrones. It is really one of the most the best TV shows ever made, except for season 8. I don't want to spoil anything, but I guess those who haven't yet seen it may have already heard somewhere that season 8 was, let's put it mildly, a bit of a disappointment. Um, they've broken up a lot of things that you would, you know, expect that they had gone a different route with certain things. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything more, because I think it's way too good to have anything spoiled. Just so much, I wish they had taken more time for season 8. Um, but Game of Thrones, perfection ex itself, except for that last bit. So, here we go, next match, UA guy on the other side, apparently alone. So, let's drop this guy down to instant low level here. Now he cannot even use his ability because I suppressed him. His last stand is rocking. He's suppressed, he can't deal damage. I got his the same robot he's got and he is done before he could even say anything. Oh, actually, he's still in the game, okay. Almost done though. He's pretty mad though, he's pretty mad now. He's like, How, what, you, what did you do to me right there? That's not cool. Let's go with this for this Loki. I'm hitting that Loki perfectly right there. And I just killed him. I just killed that Loki as it was nothing. Why was I able to do this? Simple, because uh, I had something targeted that um, that I could just aim at, right? So you're going down in two, one, rap, 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 rap. okay, this guy. Actually, he managed to actually get that beacon. That's impressive, dude. And uh, yeah, he's ending my game. He's just ending my match now. Great job, man. UA guy, amazing job. And he still has that beacon. We need more people to deal with it. But I have Overdrive now finally running, so that's good. But this guy actually has... You know what he has? He's got anti-control. Of course he's got anti-control. 
All right, we still have all four weapons, but they still have the beacon, so they're gonna be able to just respawn here. And another anti-control on his on on the uh, nightingale. Uh, but we got the beacon back, thankfully, and overdrive is activated, so that's good. Leechy boy, just quit, quit with that leeching. Quit the leeching. Quit it. Quit it. Yep, yep. There you go. Oh, he face shifted. He was having cloaking unit and he still face shifted because I would have otherwise still killed him there all right walking in safety here so he should be going down now his ability needs to be done this guy too bop, 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 bop. nope he's got the ability back problem okay getting him down to last stand okay here we have an enemy right next to us and it's the Yugai guy again, who has, who has thought to himself, how about I just kill a money gaming real quick and take him out of the match? And so he does. Nice job. I don't know where the hell you just came from, man, but that got me really good. Now you're going to fly. Of course you will, but you're losing the beacon, and uh, that's fine with me. So we have another one of the Typhons that I want to show. This guy, of course he's leeching. Of course he's leeching. Wow, the damage I just took. Ugh. Okay, where is all this fire coming from? Jesus, man. Already lost the weapon. As soon as I step out of here, both of these guys start insta-lasering me down. Immediately. Down to last stand with him. All right. Still have two weapons. Three, actually. I don't know why the, 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 uh, the leech ability was still going. That's confusing as heck. That leech ability should have been gone. Suppressed and locked on this guy. And here we go. All right. But we control all beacons. You can focus all you want on killing me, guys, and la lasering me down. If you lose the me beacon, uh, the match because you end up, uh, you know, focusing three guys on one, then that's fine with me. Yeah, you, you go ahead, UA guy. You go ahead. Knock yourself out. I'm, I'm okay with that. Go ahead. Use that entire leech for flight ability. Okay, gotten one guy. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, actually, you know what I have? I have the, uh, the, uh, the thing. I can aim at him while he's in the air, which is cool. All right, I have, uh, in case you haven't noticed, I put two machine guns and two shotguns on this thing. Oh, you a guy back in the air, back at lasering me. All right, it's it's so obvious how much more focus I receive from him than any other player in this match does. It's so obvious. All right, so let's go for him. Suppressing him. Trying to do all the damage we can. And uh, yep, there we go. Awesome. We have a Titan coming our way. Also, we have people that need healing here next to us. I'm suppressing the guy here. Breaking down through his shield instantly here, very quickly. Healing the, the gent guy on the other side. We actually have a gent guy on our team this time. This is really cool. Going for the, uh, for this dude right there. Healing up the hawk. Uh, oh, oh, that, I was very late with that healing. Suppressing this dude. Uh, I'm starting to lose weapons. At my reload is still going, so... Yep, death time. Oh, look, it was the UA guy. What a surprise. So let's jump into the next uh, thing. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, we have this one in the back. I mean, even if they focus me out of the game, that's cool, because in the end... We, we are winning the match on Beacon Progress. Although, right now, we are not perfect on Beacon Progress. Here. That didn't count as healing. He was in the healing circle, but it didn't count as healing. Alright. So, we have uh, this Arthur coming up. We have here a bunch of things shooting him. Alright. Yeah, you reinforce that shield of mine. And then, boom. Can I heal someone? No, not really. Oh, there's an enemy behind me? What? Hold on. 
Okay. So let's get their base beacon. Because why not, right? Yep. There it goes down. Uh, we have Halmans with $2 Super Chat. Also a very familiar name. I remember your name from the previous live streams, Halmans. Uh, Anti-control, face shift, strong, but you'll get him. That's right, man. I'll get him anyways. But I just I just hate that anti-control uh, because it ruins so it ruins my plan, right? Every time I have the idea like, okay, Fanta, uh, Typhon time, bam! Anti-control. Everything worthless for the next 10 seconds. And so it, it just ruins, it just ruins my plan every time. This freaking anti-control, I hate it. Uh, but I understand it's it has its place in the game, and it's good that it's there because there are certain robots like Strider, Phantom, things that are fast that really need to remain on the move, and they cannot be locked down by a simple lockdown ammo instantly, right? So there, it it is important that it's in the game. I just hate it because it ruins my personal playstyle for the from the enemy every time. Um, but uh, if I would be running. Uh, Loki, Phantom, Strider, stuff like that now, um, then I would probably need that... Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Uh, I would probably need that anti-control myself, right? So, I just, right now, I'm not using that. Alright, here we go, and... BOOM! Ability deactivated, and there he's dead. Why did I... Was I able to instantly kill him? A. Double damage from the drone. B. I disabled his ability. He was unable to activate his ability because uh, and his leech ability because I had him... Uh, hit there with um, with a thing. This time the dude didn't have anti-control. But this guy also, his ability is now deactivated. He can't go anywhere, he can't do anything, and his last stand is gone. I just took a lot of damage though. Wow. How did I take this much damage? Was that all from this one dude that flew at me with a freaking Aochun? Uh, okay then, I already gotten three kills here. Oh, hello, there's my next guy. I have triple damage running. Triple damage ready. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this. Holy smokes. He goes down in like two seconds. Uh, hey, he turned the beacon. You know what? Let's leave the beacon white because the match will end otherwise way too quick. And I don't want matches to end so fast. You know me, right? If, if the match ends like in three minutes, I don't like that. I want the match to go a little longer. And for this, I'm not going to take that beacon. Bam, bam. Triple damage is running for the next three or four seconds. So let's go for it. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, okay. He's got... The stealthy thing. I can't... Oh, he's locked now. Okay, let's see if we can deactivate his ability. Yep, there it is. Your ability is deactivated, my friend. Oh, you wanna fly now? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. He's gonna spawn in there. Triple damage is activated, and he goes down. Uh, very quickly. But of course, then I had to start reloading, which sucks. And Tsang! Yo, his ability also deactivated. There is no running away from this damage. Aha! Face, uh, last stand is running. Let's go here. See what they have there. Bam, bam, triple damage. Do, 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 do. Look how fast he drops, dude. This is a 600 meter sniper weapon. And uh, by the way, I should also give you my, my, uh, my opinion on the matter of uh, of this weapon, right? Because, in my opinion, all these types of weapons are very overpowered. If you ask me, they're absolutely overpowered here. Zack, I got him hit, he can't go anywhere. He's locked, suppressed, and he cannot activate his ability. Um, I think that these Pulsar weapons are completely overpowered in the game. Um, because 600 meters range and lockdown ab 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 abilities is, is just brutal. Wait, how are you? Wait, what? Through my shield! Through my shield! He had shield breaker running, and that's why he was able to destroy a weapon of my robot with my shield still being active. He ruined my day completely because he killed a, a weapon. He just killed a weapon, and I had decent amount of health. I had a decent amount of health, and I could have done triple damage now with all four weapons. And he just took this away from me with because of that shield breaker. Oh, man. All right, so what's going on here? Chang! You're not gonna fly anywhere anytime soon now? But somehow I took a tremendous amount of damage. I think somebody splashed me from around the wall, yeah. Probably. So, next one. Bam! Into the match. Okay. Let's go with this. 
Triple damage. Actually, I got suppressed. I don't know how, but I got somehow suppressed. Yeah. I don't know how this happened, but somehow I got suppressed. Somehow must have hit me with some weird suppression ability somewhere. Yep, taking a tremendous amount of damage. Absolutely unreal. What? And then gone. Already gone. That Sniper Ming, man. That Sniper Ming is so brutal. It is such a brutal weapon in this game. I have him suppressed now uh, because I have the suppression drone. Uh, but that's my Sniper Ming. Pilot Felixius, you are the boss in this game with that thing. The damage output you have on these four weapons is absolutely out outrageous. But I got him suppressed, so every time I, I w let it five seconds pass, and after the five seconds, I come out and suppress him again. This is how you fight them, right? Even if you have, like, a boss player with these ultra titans in the game, all you gotta do is run a suppression drone and engage them every ten seconds. Engage them for five seconds every ten seconds. And what what's going to happen is they will always be suppressed uh, when they want to fight you Okay, here we go suppression charge suppression charge both guys are suppressed going in here Bop. and uh, Yeah, I'll get another suppression once my uh, over once my 50% mark is reached Yeah, we don't have overdrive on this one Okay, something is hitting me incredibly hard with a ton of damage out outrageous, outrageous how much damage it took. Absolutely insane. That must have been uh, this guy here with... Yeah, with those rocket launchers. I think he was it. Oh, look, I'm running into a Titan now. Oh, look, he got me with the ability. Oh, look, I'm three on one. Damn it! <laughs> Let's spawn our Titan here. Let's try to do suppression. Turned out to be the wrong choice because there's a Titan now right in front of us. But he's reloading, which is good. And the match is over. All right, we have Mixfand Game, uh, Mixfand Gaming with five Canadian dollars. Hey, Manny, being uh, a Babylon Five fan myself, I have, uh, I've been meaning to ask what your thoughts on the sequel Crusade. Here's the thing: the Crusade is the only thing I haven't yet watched. I have watched uh, Babylon Five One to Five, and then I have, um, I have the Crusade in my uh, in my shelf standing, so I do have it, but somehow I never gotten to watch it. But it's gonna come. I believe it's not quite Babylon 5 uh, level of awesomeness, but it's probably still watchable. So I'll, I'll still be doing this. I will still be watching it. Uh, but um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I think I expect it to be a little less good than Babylon 5 was. For those who want to see an awesome sci-fi movie series, uh, Babylon 5 is very old. The first season is you see that it's really old. And then from the second and third season, you, you, you notice how they improve the technology and how the, um, how, the, how the series looks a lot better and more combat, more awesomeness. And see, if you make it to season three, because it's not the most action-paced series from season one, um, if you make it to season three, what's going to happen is you're going to have the in, an insane amount of fun. It's going to be brutal. Season three is really, is really boss. So he's going to come around the corner. Did he manage to get in 350? He did? Wait a minute, that didn't look like he did. He managed to get in 350. Did you see that? To me, it looked like he didn't manage to do it. It was 360 and 365, but not 350 to me. I got him locked. All right, trying to finish him off before he walks around the corner. Didn't quite work. Wow, the longest last stand I've ever seen in my life. Did you see that seven seconds last stand he had? It felt like ten, and it probably was five, but it but it felt like ten seconds. Oh man, I just ruined my shot right there with the suppression charge. I was able to hit him just once for a second there. Wow, the damage I just took, unreal. All right, we have him locked and no, actually he's walking around. I got him locked and suppressed with the ability, and yet he's walking around. You know what, guys? The ability is bucked on this robot. Seriously. I'm telling you, it's bucked. People people have resistance to this, even though they're definitely not running. How much damage does Viper do all of a sudden? You see how much damage his Vipers just did? 
how quickly he just dropped the shield with vipers is he gonna spawn here in front of us apparently not um i i'm i'm convinced that there is a bug in the game when it comes to these uh to the typhon ability it, it doesn't seem to be working right of course you immediately teleport back why should you walk look around first before teleporting back right just go with an instant teleport back even though you don't even know there's a threat behind you did you see this guy Okay, he should be suppressed now. No, he is not suppressed! What is going on in the game? Dude, the game isn't even working right! People are never getting suppressed by this ability. It just doesn't work. You notice that, right? Every time I rely on the suppression, it doesn't work. He's not suppressed every time. Alright, that's bad for us now. But I got the beacon and I got him locked, so that's good. But dude, there is something seriously wrong with that suppression ability. There is something seriously wrong with that. Are you still getting me? Wow, I'm dead. Okay. And he even captured the beacon, so... Yep. I got completely fricked up there by these guys. Completely. They just destroyed me I, like it, it was the first new player ever, ever existed in the game, man. I was locked next to the beacon while they were on the beacon capturing it and double teaming me from all sides why I, because I don't have run face shift or anything. Wow. I got really screwed over there, man. And again, again I noticed this insane triple duo duo on me here. Yep, I lose my weapon. I already did. Yep. Oh my god, I sh I must I must change that name. I must change the name. It's like so insane. They see the name, they run at you. Oh man, he you, you could tell he actually wanted to capture that beacon then he recognized it's look who's stalking and then he's like Okay, screw the beacon. I'm going to kill that dude <laughs> Wow All right uh, Let's drop him to last stand See what we have here uh, bup, bup, bup. Okay, no, I didn't I didn't miss anything did I? Uh, Ergen Yal Yalchan with DKK 25. Hey, man. Thank you, dude. Uh, I still don't know what DKK even is. Triple damage rolling. Look how much HP I have, by the way. And yet I have a weapon lost. Yo, did you see the guy face shift after I hit him with a suppression charge? Did you see the guy use face shift after he was supposed to be unable to do that? The game is broken, man. This ability is not working. It's not working. The game is completely broken and the ability is absolutely not working at all. People are not suppressed. People are not locked. People's face shift is working. People's abilities are working. None of the advertised effects on the robot uh, is actually running. None of it. It's completely in, uh, completely worthless. Wow. That's a problem right there. Oh, hey, we need more. We need more titans on me, guys. We definitely need more titans on me alone here. Oh my god. Okay. Trying to heal back some ability, but forget it, dude. Ugh. Three titans now. Okay, good that they brought more titans. Going to heal this guy. Sang. Nice. I'm like a ghost, his name is. Yep. I'm healing a ghost. Alright, so there comes the next uh, titan here, right in front of us. Of course his ability is ready. And that was, I mean, obviously his ability is ready. Why else would he come, right? Why else would he even engage if the ability wasn't ready? Okay, let's jump on this guy and help him. Zack, instant heal. Shielding. Unfortunately, the shield doesn't work when the enemy walks inside the shield, but... Alright. We still healed him up, and that is important. Uh, we haven't had a, a, got a, a long-range map yet, right, guys? We need a long-range map. We really need that long-range map right about now. So he's used his ability there. 
Yeah, I don't think I can actually even use my, my shield here. Actually, okay, I can. Alright, firing at this guy. And he's got his reflector ready. Which means the damage we can do against him is drastically reduced. But now he's locked and the damage is running. Alright, cool. Only two enemies left. We are already winning on beacon progress, so that's cool. Yeah, he's going down. Fast. Whoa, we have more donations rolling in. Hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna read them in just a second. What does this guy have? Oh, that's an invader. You know, I very you rarely ever see an invader in the game because they are just a juicy meat meat like they just are like a damage sponge. Uh, all they offer is a ton of HP for your damage stats. Everybody seeing an invader is so happy to kill them because they have no resistance. So those, I don't know, 600, 500,000 HP, when they heal up, they can have more. It's all for your damage. Uh, we have fun car reviews. Hey Manny, hope you're fine. A little high from Switzerland. I have sent a buck finding from months with the Aegis shield where not uh, abilities can, can go through if it's a uh, it, it for a millisecond. So you can get an instant lock in some cases. Still no fix. Through an Aegis shield, you say. Interesting. You mean with a Typhon robot? Is that what you mean with the Typhon ability? Because to me it seems like the Typhon ability is never really working right. I mean, I can probably count on one hand how many times the ability has actually worked in this live stream. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there is definitely a bug in the game and it's not working right. Uh, Luis Andrade here, another with another uh, 100 Mexican dollars. G uh, game sometimes gets silly. Happens to me that the Arthur shield doesn't work right and the Typhon ability is broken as it happens, uh, as it happens to you. Uh, sad because you rely on that and then the game betrays you. Yeah, that's right. And uh, this is like, th this is the, the only ability you have on this robot. And if that one doesn't work, then the robot doesn't work, right? Let's be real. Uh, you have to make that ability work. See, he, he's got anti-control. He had anti-control and this is why I was unable to get him, um, him uh, locked right there. So that part is fine, right? I understand that. I saw the blue glow, so I know that I couldn't lock him. Um, and that's, that's cool. The problem is here. This guy probably worked here the ability. Oh, hey, did he teleport back? Yeah, he did. Um, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that that buck you set, Lewis, with the uh, with the uh, shield of the Arthur not working. I know this buck very well. I and I encountered this myself. I had the Arthur rolling, and I uh, and I had the uh, and there was a sniper Ao Ming with the gendarme and uh, whatever the names are called. Uh, the, the heavy sniper dragoon like weapons, right? And I had my shield deployed and he was like sh he was shooting right through the shield. He didn't care He didn't care about uh, about it at all. So that was uh, very obvious that it wasn't running right Here I, I hit him with the ability and yet he, uh, he got his leech ability out my 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 estimate or my my um, you know assumption is that there is a bug or a delay in the game and uh, that delay causes it to uh, not properly display, uh, display it when somebody is actually, um, you know, having his ability running or not, right? So you 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 hit him with the ability, and you think he didn't have his ability running, but maybe on his device he already pl uh, he already pressed the button, so the the ability still goes through even though it shouldn't, right? That could be. This could be one reason why very often you think you got him before the ability, and then you realize that you didn't. I need someone to drop me down to low health. I need that factory map, man. That factory map would be awesome now. He's gonna use that ability. See, this time I got him. Uh, see, I got him, but his ability is activated. You can clearly see that I got him because I was- I was- I locked him down. And when you lock him down, obviously uh, you got him with the ability charge. Okay, I wanna I wanna take more damage. I need to take more damage for for overdrive. Actually, wait a minute. That's a little bit too much. That's too much. Let's get this guy out of the way, and then him too. 
I'm suppressed now. Oh my god, I lost a weapon. The entire idea behind losing, it didn't work. I did not know there was an Auchun coming in. That Auchun ruined everything. I was just letting this guy shoot me. I didn't kill him on purpose because I wanted to, to shoot him, shoot me down to last stand and uh, to overdrive so I can finally do triple damage. And uh, it didn't work because uh, there was an Auchun, an unknown Auchun I did not know was going, was going to be there that uh, that had apparently had the suppression effect going as well. So I had, I had no cho chance. I was suppressed and I was in a two on one. That's a combination of, uh, of uh, bad things that you can't survive. Without the suppression, I would have killed both of these guys. No problem. I would have lost some HP, but I would have killed both guys. But with the suppression, no chance. Okay, I'm... Okay, that's it. There goes the robot again. See, this is what I mean with the high risk, high reward. This is the playstyle that I play. I'm playing a playstyle that only works if I get that overdrive to activate. The only thing I worry about, as soon as I drop into the game, the only thing I care about is getting overdrive running. That's all I care about. Getting to the 60% HP mark, then getting to 30%, then to heal up to 60, and then to stay there. Long range, maximum firepower, and not losing a weapon. And you see in... Four out of five cases, this high risk, high reward playstyle doesn't work. In four out of five cases, I not just lose my overdrive, I lose, uh, I get the overdrive running, I also lose my weapons in the process. I take too much damage, and the entire idea behind increasing damage is useless, because there is no increased damage when you're starting to lose weapons, right? So again, the entire reason to play this type of playstyle is uh, not working. And that's my problem right now. That you see very often right now going on. So that I just can't make it happen to get that overdrive to activate without starting to lose the weapons. It's too great of a risk. The, 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 the high risk, high reward is too great the risk for too little reward right now. I need, I need a sniper map where people can't just gang up on me and kill me in two seconds and kill me instantly, right? Because uh, you don't have last stand if you run three overdrives. And three overdrives is what you want to do for 300% damage. So you have no last stand. You have nothing that saves you from destruction. And I'm running uh, the 300... And, and the next problem is for the 300% damage, overdrive alone would be doable if I use phase shift. Then I run in, I take damage, and I just phase shift when I have the right amount of damage. But I don't want to have 200%. I want to have 300% damage. And for that, I need an active module that allows me to fire. And phase shift does not allow me to fire at the enemy, right? So the problem will be that I can't actually... Oh, God's sakes. As soon as I look at him, his shield comes up. The whole time before where I didn't look at him, shield was, was down. I look at him, shield comes up. And I got absolutely zero chance. Okay, here we go again. I got him down to last stand at least. I'm walking away, you can have that beacon because I don't want to lose both of my streaming setups. That's the streaming setup. That's what I want to show you here, these two things. And I don't want to lose both of them immediately at the first minute of the game, right? You really want to do this now, huh? You really need to. So I tried to lock him. You see, it didn't work. The ability didn't lock him down. Yeah, he's he's just doing this now. He's just killing both of my setups with the... Because I can't, I can't get through that shield of his. I just can't get through this thing. Uh, this is like... I'm, I'm playing a sniper setup and he's he has... He has currently the strongest rushing setup that exists in this game so i can't stop the rushing setup so it's a it's a win by default there's not there's literally nothing he can do wrong all he's got to do is walk forward and shoot and i die no chance you got me suppressed now huh great so i did lose both of these robots in the first minute of the game because this guy simply decided to use his rushing setup to take me out immediately and that was zero chance for me to do anything about it. Uh, I wonder if this Nightingale is ever going to fire at, at somebody else. 
I'm just I'm just watching it now. Is this Nightingale ever firing at someone else? No, right? It's not. Huh. So, took revenge on it. There we go. Now, problem is, again, 2 on 1 here. Got a lot of firepower on me. Alright, trying to get in safety here. For the moment, didn't work. I'm, uh, I'm getting a little pissed off right now because I just can't seem to get out of these uh, instant death scenarios. Again, one of those things. It's the same guy. How many do you have? Seriously, how many do you have? Is this a third one? Second, third? I don't know. It's the strongest robot in the game now uh, where there is the zero stopping potential. You can't stop this thing. When it comes to you, it has like 2 million HP on those physical shields. I don't know how much it is, but... If you turn around sideways, you have so much uh, firepower on that thing and so much HP on that thing and then the sheer unlimited amount of HP with those physical shields. I hope somebody's gonna drop in. Okay, we have someone here. Yeah, you're never firing at that falcon, right? It's crazy, man. Yeah, as soon as I become visible, he switches target instantly over to me. My god. Uh, see if we can drop him. Um, he got the leech ability back. Oh, there's a scorpion next to me. Okay. So, I wonder if Warobots is ever gonna give me a sniper map in this game. Seriously. Right now, I'm waiting for sniper maps to come in. And we haven't had a single one. Because obviously both setups I want to showcase here in this game are more sniper setups. I got suppressed. How? How did I get suppressed immediately? Suppressing him too. Running under him where he is, loses his lock on. Then we finish off this dude. Suppressing him. By the way, if you walk very close to an Ao Chun like this, Ao Ming, sorry, then they have a very hard time hitting you. If you're like this close to them, it's incredibly hard for them to hit you. Especially if you lock them and you walk around them. They have almost no chance of, of scoring any hits. And when they fly up, they can also not hit you. Uh, because, you know, they, they lose their target lock. I think he's flying backwards now. Going this way. Okay. Finishing this guy. And then I'm getting killed, but that's okay. We did a lot now with this one setup. Uh, by the way, the hour is over. Let's swap over to free chat for everyone. Uh, channel members only? Nope. Everybody's gonna be able to write again. Oh, look, I missed the opportunity here. Damn it, because I was uh, <laughs> just setting this up. I had to spawn there, but I messed it up. All right, let's drop in with the Nodens. He's going to start to fly in two, one. There it is. Okay. Healing up the Arthur. He was trying to get up on the roof. <laughs> he got shot away by the blast wave from the Arthur. That is cool. So let's finish him off here. He instantly suppresses and locks. Lockdown and suppression on this one. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy killing you, man. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Bye. What an insane pleasure that was. Lockdown and suppression on that uh, on that hawk, man. All right, anybody here who needs healing? No, not really. But I'm gonna get healing by the Nightingale. Look, Nightingale is coming in and healing us. That's really awesome. Thank you, Nightingale. And this guy's obviously this guy's thing isn't gonna work. Boom, boom, boom.
I can hit him with the machine guns here. The shotguns don't make it, but the machine guns do. That is awesome. Healing up this person. Okay. I could use some Nodens heal here. Do we have a Noden somewhere? Suppressing this Titan? Ah, okay, match already over. So yeah, welcome, buddy. Welcome, guys. Don't be mad, Manny, chill. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I'm not really mad, but a little disappointed because I wanted to show you the uh, these two setups. And, uh, and it's just sad when there is a robot in the game that simply walks through you as if you, as if you did not exist. And there's all the skill in the universe. You can have it all. You're not gonna win. He's just gonna walk right through you as if you were like uh, and no obstacle at whatsoever. And that's what he just did with me. And then he did it twice. And that's no, and there's nothing I could do. That's, that's a sad thing. There's nothing I could have done about it. The only thing I could have done is avoid the encounter. Just walk somewhere else. Let this way overpowered uh, shell robot um, just, you know, encounter other people and not have to worry about it. There's another shell robot here. Trying to break through the ability. I got him. I broke through the shield and I hit him, but, uh... Yeah. I'm still working on breaking through the shield. Let's make him leech the uh, use his leech ability. This guy is going down now. As you see here, he's locked. Adding the, adding the added damage. Uh, the shell robot is a very powerful robot, guys. So, okay, he's leeching, so no attacking him right now. But we can finish off this guy. Then we can hit the leech. Make him stationary and then finish him down to last stand. Okay. I'm gonna try and get myself in safety here. Is this gonna work? Nah, it's not gonna work. So I have to go down here. But he lost a lot of health in this process. And now I'm dropping him down to last stand too. Which was very helpful. Uh, pretty sure he's gonna try and kill us as the uh, next chance he's getting. Got this guy. Okay. Got him locked and suppressed. His ability is deactivated, so he won't be able to go anywhere. Activating triple damage here. Breaking through the shield. Oh, wow. He started healing. Because of that healing, he actually made it. I need to take a little more damage here. So I'm standing here. And now the overdrive is rolling. I need to take more damage a little. Uh, but try not to take too much damage, because again, see, you know what I mean, right? With the high risk thing. He started leeching now, so I better stop attacking. Unfortunately, I lost the first weapon, second weapon, third weapon, and I'm dead. Why? Because my team just attacked the leeching leech. He just completely passively killed me because my, my, my team didn't do it. So finally, after such a long time, I finally have a long range map. I waited so long for this long range map to appear in the game so I could finally test these weapons here on a long range map. I waited that long for it. And then my team kills me based off of the uh, team deathmatch that you can do with a leech attack. Big mistake, Pixonic. It was a huge mistake to ever bring in something that allows teammates to actually kill you. That was a very big mistake, and I hope you realize this, Pixonic, because that one is a big one. That was a very big mistake right there. Teammates being able to kill you, literally? What were you thinking, Pixonic? Now, I lost both robots again. For the first time in such a long time, we actually got into a sniper map. And I couldn't even make use of it. I couldn't even make use of the sniper map. As soon as I got my overdrive activated, I got instantly taken out. So, I wonder how many times in this live stream, and this live stream goes for an hour and ten minutes, behind me too. Wow, I just had a Titan and a Fenrir in front of me. I turn around and there's a Titan and a Fenrir behind me. So in these one hour and ten minutes, how often have I actually had the pleasure of rocking 300% firepower? with the overdrive and all that goodness, right? How often? How many minutes did we get together with triple damage? You can count this on one hand. 
It's like probably like five minutes of triple damage we had in this entire live stream so far. And that's why you see no one playing this crappy game mode. I'm, I'm the only person, or one of the very few people, you see honestly using this playstyle. Everyone else is usually going with over with last stand for five seconds invincibility, anti-control for being immune to any any negative effects, and uh, and then maybe a damage module or something. Everyone else is gonna do this. You'll never see a meta clan playing meta robots, but using overdrive. You'll never see this. They will all use a, a last stand. All of them. Because if you want to be powerful, then you, you you want to be invincible. You don't want to have a, a, a little bit of more damage and get killed in the process of getting there anyways. You don't want to have this. Something I only uh, that, that very few people actually do. Um, yeah. So, praying for another long-range map here. About 10 minutes, people say. I got, I got to play triple damage about 10 minutes. Typhon is very squishy, people say. Yeah, that's true. The Typhon gets killed very quickly by robots because you don't have... Oh, nice. We got another sniper map on Team Deathmatch. So let's try and make the best of it, okay? Let's try and stay at max range. Try to do the best we can to stay alive. And to utilize and reach the 300%. And this is why I want the new factory map. And this is also why I want the new um, Abyss map. Because those new maps... Okay, we already have a problem. We have a robot with Gauss weapons that has 1,100 meters, no, 800 meters range, and that can always fire a shot and drop me down very quickly to very low health. So as soon as somebody uh, drops my shield, what will happen is the, the, the um, Jäger robot will jump up and hit me very hard with his ability. That leech robot right there, I just, uh, I just killed him because I, I prevented his shield from popping up. Uh, but I think I should leave this position here. The enemy is very powerful on this side. And is advancing. And we only have two people here right now. I need a few more people here on this side. Okay, trip, uh, double damage is right now going. And that's how we got this much damage. Nice. Time for good mood. P time for a good mood pill. Yeah, I mean, I could really use one right now. It's it's sad if you have to wait for a certain map for like forever. Then finally you get that map, and then you know, you end up still not doing, not being able to show what you wanted to do. So yeah, give me that that pill. This guy. Let's drop him immediately. No, I can't. He has a stealth unit. But now I can, okay. Trying to lock him, if possible. Yeah, he is locked, but he actually is a little bit in safety right now. Double damage rolling. Yep, despite the healing, I got him. See, and I cannot actually benefit from overdrive at all. I'm not an actually benefiting from overdrive in any way right now because it's not running. I first get, have to get this running without dying in the process, and this is the very, this is the difficult part about it. Double damage, here we go. Oh, he had, uh, you know what he had? He has a thing. Uh, Anti-control. That's why I was unable to, um, to get his ability deactivated. Yeah, you're gonna die from someone now. Okay, this guy, he isn't too dangerous at this point yet. He's hitting me constantly, but my shield is currently is constantly recharging the damage, so that's good. If it wasn't for that recharging shield, we'd be in trouble. Oh, that's a Demeter who just jumps just jumped there. A Demeter just came in. Wow, he's going down fast. Holy smokes, did you see how quickly they just killed that Demeter? Ah, okay, he face shifts. But I got him anyways. Thankfully, he didn't have his ability ready. That was cool. Lancelots! Two Lancelots?! Wow, that is rare. It's rare to see one Lancelot these days. Seeing two is like a... 
As I said previously, it's like a unicorn. Seeing a unicorn inside turn, turn inside out. That guy is constantly wasting. Oh yes, nice. I'm finally taking a little damage for the overdrive. A little more. Nice, that is perfect. Now I've gotten the right amount of damage. I try I should try not to get killed now. If possible. Because now I can finally go with triple damage for a while. As soon as I activate the active module, I get the triple damage. Let's reload our weapons. If I get that Jaeger inside, that would be really cool. There he is. Okay, triple damage running. Look at how, how much damage he's now taking, man. Wow. Locking down this guy. Awesome. See, this is what I wanted, to finally be able to do triple damage to the enemy. Here, wait for it, triple damage coming in now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh man, thankfully I still have all weapons, which I guess is kind of a, a little miracle. Oh god, come on, man! Oh no! No, now he shoots me from the other side! What am I- Come on! I still have all weapons. I still have them all. At this point. It is so difficult with this guy in front of me. Nightingale is missing a few shots, which is great. Okay, we got this. We got out of this. That was close, man. This guy is leeching me, of course, hoping that he gets attacked. He wants me. He wants me so much because I killed that Jaeger of his. I was unable to get his last stand rolling. But now there is. Last stand is gone. And... Finished him. Oh! Oh, that was close. I actually didn't lose my weapon here. That was very lucky. Usually I do lose my weapons. Triple damage. Da, 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 da. I can't believe we made it out of this with all four weapons active, guys. I can't believe it. Uh oh, we have a sniper titan again. Oh, I just fired my charge into nowhere. This guy is out of his weapons range. He's going to come in soon. I instantly face shifted immediately Titan is coming in. I'm gonna corner shoot him now oh, And there we go. That's it. I think we're dead now. He even face shifted. He even face shifted through my ability Wow He knew that I was gonna do that. He knew I was gonna uh, do my uh, uh, My ability mode as soon as it well, who's this now? Okay, that's a friend. I thought that was an enemy too. So, I'm walking away, trying to stay out of 350 meter range of this guy, and th trying to stay out of 600 of this guy. Alright, it is... You notice how much of a struggle it is, just to not lose w a weapon, right? This is such, such a struggle, it's insane. The second time he insta face shifters. As soon as you start to hit this guy once, he immediately face shifts. But that... One thing I don't understand, it also ruins his own attack run, right? He can't attack when he does that. It's not exactly the universal solution there, friend. Alright, triple damage. Dum 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 dum. Okay. Now, let's wait for 7 seconds, 5 seconds, 6 to get the triple damage back. Then suppress the guy here. We have him suppressed, and now triple damage is there. Suppressed, locked, and triple damage coming in on the guy. That is tremendous damage. Oh, man. But what a struggle it is to not get killed when you have that overdrive running, man. I don't know why. It has never been this difficult before. I remember this being a risk, but... Excuse me. Um, but as difficult as it is right now... It's like the end boss is to keep overdrive running. 
that's the end boss in the game right now. Okay. Thankfully, his leech ability was out or... No, wait, what? Why was he not locked? Oh, oh, because I didn't have lockdown ammo, that's right. I thought I have lockdown ammo, but that's not lockdown ammo, it's death mark. Whew, we are winning this, but it's getting closer. Bam, 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 triple damage coming in here. Yep. Oh, man, that hurt him. That hurt him quite a bit. This guy is out of range. Okay. I don't think I can hit him. Nope, I can't. He's got only 500 meters range on those rockets, though. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna walk to, for your perspective, this side. Uh, big fan of yours, uh, Varun er, RV. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna read that in a sec because I have a bit of a trouble now. Because that is a very powerful robot that I have to deal with now. Yep, I deactivated his ability. So he was unable to activate the flight. And then I'm trying to finish him before he flies. Yes! That worked. Even though he did have last stand, it still worked. Uh, because I, I got him with the ability charge this time, so he couldn't actually go and uh, use his, his flight ability. So that was awesome. So Varun RV, big fan of yours. We've watched all your videos, me and uh, my 10-year-old son. My son was the one who introduced me to your videos back in 2014. I think Kubos, uh, to, oh, kudos to you uh, from India. Thank you, man. That is awesome, and greetings out to your 10-year-old 10 10 year son. You didn't let me know your, his name, but uh, greetings to him. And you, of course. Thank you, guys. So you see, we've done a lot of damage. But, again, this playstyle with Overdrive, I love it. But it's so dangerous to get it running. And all it takes is, is like one, one scorpion, right? It just, all it takes is one scorpion or something similar to, co to come and whoop the heck out of you. So let's do this again. And I do find these weapons heavily overpowered. I already said this, right? The, the, uh, the poles are. In my opinion, these weapons are overpowered. They do too good. Maybe they need a, a spread. Maybe they they have to have a bit of like a spread where at max range they lose some firepower due to spread. I think in the beginning they were like this, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, so if anybody would respawn uh, spawn here in front of us, that would be funny. Maybe I could set up a really awesome trap right here for them. Like in case they die and respawn, right? Maybe I can immediately screw them up right there with the ability charge. Let's see. Let's let's play this like a like a sissy player, okay? We're just camping their spawn now. Come on, one of those guys has to die and then just jump over here. So far, none of them is dying. Absolutely no one. Maybe they need me that someone there is gonna die. Because look, I have a really good angle on them from the side. I can kill this dude, for example. Like that. Dam, 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 dam. And before you can even understand what the heck just happened, he's done. Problem is... Yep, it's an Aochun. I got him locked and suppressed. And I'm getting myself ready for maximum firepower. There it is, yep. He's almost destroyed already, that's cool. This guy's leeching. Leech ability ends now. Yep, leech ability has ended, so we got him down to last stand. He's trying to shield himself and be safe there, but... I got this low... Oh, hey, who killed him? Huh? Who killed him? There was an Aochun standing there. What happened? Did he exit the game? What happened? I, I don't understand. Somebody just died. Come on, come on. Spawn in front of me. I have my shield cover to the right. No, he spawned somewhere else. Ah, someone else died. Okay. Sissy player active. Sissy player style active. Sang, 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 and before he even makes it into the flight ability, he's gone. 
Sissy playstyle worked. He's got another Aochun though. He's relentless. He's just pumping Aochuns. He is the boss, the boss Aochun. Let's get him suppressed and tuck, 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 tuck. You know what? Somebody just hit him with a tremendous amount of damage from the side. I think that's what killed the Aochun before. Somebody one tap the dude. All right, Dim, are you going to respawn here in front of me? Shaman, do it. Actually, if he does it with a Titan, then I'm a little in trouble, right? If he drops a Titan, that would be bad. Okay, let's see. Come on. Sissy playstyle running. Sang, 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 Boom, death, death. <laughs> Before, he could even do anything. He just spawned a fresh robot there. This is spawn camping at its finest. Guys, this is the ultimate skill playstyle. If you want to be the best player in the game, that's what you're going to do. You're just going to hop into their spawn and you instantly kill them every time they spawn. Come on, man. Next guy, spawn in, please. That is an hour. Oh, that's a, sh a shock train, a shock train player on the Spectre. And he's doing a great job. He's like shock training them pretty well. I need somebody to drop in in front of me. <laughs> People are like, lol, ah! The stream chat is going nuts right now. I'm, I'm playing the most, the, the, the biggest sissy playstyle that exists in the game. And you know what? I'm having fun at it. Come on, somebody drop here in front of me. All right, you know what? Let's let's do this even crazier. Let's go behind their entire spawn. So they literally literally have to do a 180 and turn around if they want to get me. Because from here, I can even shoot into their spawn. Ah, okay, that hasn't worked as I wanted to, but it's okay. It's not like his flux is ever going to drop my shield. And look, we have a little building in front of us that will help us as soon as somebody drops in and tries to attack me. Bam, 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 bam. I dropped him immediately as he fell. Come on, drop in front of me, man. Come on, right here. Right here, dude. Right there. Do it. Do it. <laughs> He's not doing it. All right, I have to re reload. Let's try and reload. Five seconds reload. No, they're not spawning in there. They don't want this. They don't want to fight here. They know they know the destiny that avo awaits them if they do. Bam, 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 bam. Leech ability is going to end now. There it is. I knew it was going to... Oh, it's now someone just spawned in. But look, he doesn't know. He didn't know. Oh, I'm ready for you, man. Triple damage or double damage in this case. Da, 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 da. Okay, got him locked. His ability charge didn't make it, and now I have cover in front of me. I actually have cover in front of me, and the hawk didn't even under notice. The hawk didn't even know. Ah, yeah, yeah. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage now. Now the hawk noticed, unfortunately. Okay, that's a bit of a problem now. And one of the biggest problems is that he actually has the one weapon setup that I don't want to fight. Okay, got him locked and suppressed here. His ability is also deactivated. So he can't actually start his flight. Got him! Yes! Alright, spawn in front of me, man. Fro spawn it, spawn it, spawn it. Oh, he spawns the other way around. He spawns there. Alright, triple damage now. Do, 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 do. Look at this. That's an entire invader just completely gone. And then he's suppressed and locked. And then he's dead. Come on, man. Yes! Bam, 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 bam. He's locked now. Look. He just activated his reflector. Uh-oh. Then we're gonna lock him and suppress him again. Oh, actually, I'm waiting for the triple damage. Okay, now triple damage rolling. Nice. This has been a really good round. We need more sniper maps like this. Yeah, he just spawned there and he's getting killed so quickly. Oh, sh uh, is this a leech? I'm not sure if it's a leech. If it's a leech, then we're, we're in trouble that we just... Then we were doing damage to our friend. I didn't see it, though, this time. It wasn't on purpose. I just didn't notice it was a leech. I thought it was something else. 
Uh, okay. Uh, where did he go? Okay, this way. Triple damage. Dum 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 dum. Yep. Titan Slayer. That is a really good match. That is a really good match with this weapon now. So, what do I think is better? You may already recognize, right? The topic of this video here or stream is um, is Atomizer versus Pulsar. What's better? And the thing is, I believe the Atomizer is good. It's a powerful weapon. But the Pulsar is currently outperforming it big time. The reason is simple. You lock down and you have 100 meters more range. You may have a reload, but you have very much firepower if that reload is not happening right now. So, hey, Manny, how you had uh, the pool for you? What? Why you had the pool for YouTube? Uh, the poll. You mean the poll. Um, I heard that there was a... a an interesting glitch in the YouTube system that apparently allows certain posts to make it into the whole world even though it's not related to the YouTube channel itself and I wanted to test if that's actually the true case that's why I made this community post uh, I explained it in the post um, but um, maybe you didn't read it it was like a long post uh, but most of that post is literally just keywords for no reason just trying to fool YouTube and try and see if it actually works that was the the reason uh, because I heard that there was a glitch in the uh, in in the in the system and I wanted to know if it's still there and that was one way of finding out so it will still take a little while to see if that actually does work but um yeah just testing so he's coming in right there his resistance is now gone oh he's face shifting that means he can't get that beacon okay he's trying to capture the beacon last stand prevented it Nice, I got him, I got him killed before he get he got that beacon up. I actually just accidentally hit a Loki and I just killed a Loki and this guy too. Okay then, uh, the match just began and I killed half the entire enemy team. That is awesome. But however, I have to make it out of there alive. Overdrive is already activated, that's also pretty cool. Triple damage, now. Do, 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 do. Okay, hitting him here and finishing him off. I have to get out of 350 meters range of those Tarans and Redeemers. Wow, the Bulgazari died fast. Holy smokes, did you see that? Did you see how fast that Bulgazari just went down? That was insane. Uh-oh, wait, another Bulga- Hey, he was alive still, or... Can I walk back up here? I don't know. I have to check if you can actually walk here up here. Yeah, you can. Nice. They made this so that you can walk back, can walk up there. That's an, an enemy phantom, uh, uh, not phantom, enemy thingy there. Let's get him instantly vaporized. Doom, doom, doom. With triple damage or double damage right now, no problem. Overdrive isn't there. That's the problem. We have a Chun coming. I think I got him locked and suppressed. I want to take a little damage, as you know. Wow, he dies as he falls completely. Did you see the amount of damage you can do with this setup? It's so crazy, man. I would like to get the beacon. The problem is, though, that chances are the enemy is simply going to respawn right there in front of us, right? So that's one thing I don't really want to risk right there, that the be that they do respawn in front of us. A and then simply kill us, because, yeah. But now they have all six beacons. Like, this is getting out of control now. He's gonna respawn here, isn't he? Yep. Nice! I got him hit with the ability before he could activate his, his leech ability. So we might be able to- yep, nice! Awesome, dude. We got him killed. Before he could activate his leech ability, I hit him. And therefore, uh, we could capture the beacon. That worked like a charm right there. So what is this? Okay, I have an, an Ares in the distance and he cannot activate his ability now. I'm gonna kill him before- Oh, nope, that shield pops up. I wanted to take him down before the shield comes up. Didn't work, sadly. Uh, and I didn't quite hit that, uh, that, uh, that hawk. 
Actually, but I can drop my own uh, thing now, finally. Yeah, awesome. Now overdrive is running. Because I, I was able to fire at a hawk to damage myself. Okay. Getting him locked. Okay, triple damage. Doom, 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 doom. Look at this damage he's now taking. Somehow he's not even activating his center uh, his center weapon. Or now he did, but in the first at first he didn't. Okay. We locked him again. Let's try and prevent the cap. My team is doing a great job here. I gotta say, Ludi Seko here in front of me, man. You're doing a great job, and uh, I'm helping you here against this thing. Nice. Uh, he did a great job at preventing the cap of this guy. Let's get this guy. Oh! You saw what just happened, right? I wanted to prevent his flight. And in the moment I shot him, he started the flight. That was very unlucky right there. Let's drop him to last stand. And getting this thing. Nice. This beacon is turned white. Also, great job here. True Trufos. Let's get this thing locked. There we go. And triple damage. Triple damage on the Aoming. And he goes down immediately. Wow. Yo. That is out of control. This is just double damage now. I hit him, so he cannot activate his resistance right now. But there it is. Yeah, he's coming over over to us. Locking him. Yep, he's locked now. And he's taking the whole damage from the from the uh Ao Chun. Wow, we're losing still. Not Ao Chun from the um, Hawk. We have to take them down here and get those beacons. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got him locked and suppressed. His ability is deactivated and if he just hit him, if we just hit him two more times, he's dead. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. But we might still be able to win that match, even though, uh... Yeah, he's going for the beacon. I would do that too now. Yeah, we are still able to win the match, guys. Awesome! His plan didn't work of capturing the beacon. Yep, nice. I had a great team here, I gotta say, man. You guys are awesome. Animal and uh, Crunchia over there. True Voice and uh, Ludi Seco. You guys were awesome. You were really good helpers here. Capturing the beacons. It's great when you have people in there that know what they're doing. And uh, this is also what allowed me to relax a little, right? I could, I could just snipe from a distance and do a good job here with the damage and the killing. Even though I only captured two beacons, my team still came out on top because we had such awesome people here. With seven beacons, seven beacons, four beacons, really. Without those guys, we would have lost this. So, yeah. Uh, no Name, just missing half the stream. Feeling good. Good luck. Hey, man. No Name, thank you so much, man. And, uh, yeah, uh, the second half is still running, so that's okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all right. Got catch caught up with this. Let's do the... This time we're doing the... Um, uh, the Atomizer version, okay? Let's try and stay alive and test the triple damage Atomizer. Yeah, the, the game lag. Did you see that? The game lagged in that very moment when I wanted to... Um, to hit him. That's a... Uh, I know what this is. This is a Ravana. Okay. Oh, what? He knew it. He knew that. Wow. He was ready with his ability to prevent the, the lockdown and the instant takedown there. Somebody just did damage through my shield. So I got this guy now. His ability is deactivated. But they're coming. They're coming here, both of them. And I get the feeling that they're coming over for me here. So I'm trying to back off because we have a powerful clan in the enemy side. This isn't just a bunch of random players. So I deactivated his ability again. He cannot use his ability right now. He's gonna do it now. My overdrive is running. He's doing all four ability runs there. 
Okay, got him too. Leech, uh, leech, uh, no, not leech. Ares is there. I have to help here, because this guy is so close to in front of us. I am running lockdown ammo here on him. He's locked again. He's using his ability again because he wants to get out of the lockdown. And there he goes. Nice. I have a great team here. Here. I just... Oh, no. He was able to jump. I was trying to prevent the jump on the guy, but it didn't work. And he's just going to get it. He's going he's gonna to get me. Yep. He is. Uh, I'm down to... I lost a weapon here. All because of just one person. All it takes is one scorpion to end you. That's all it takes, literally. Okay, I'm still in the game. I'm being leeched from a distance there. Got this guy locked and I can corner shoot him. Look at this. He's taking damage right now and he's flying because he does no longer want to take that damage. We're also finishing off the leech here. Almost done now. Come on. There we go. That's a full platoon right here of, of, of pre-mates. He's uh, having the stealth running. I got him locked and suppressed, or I tried to. Got him. I haven't given this enemy team an, a single kill yet. So far, they haven't gotten a single kill. From me, I mean. They have gotten seven kills, but not from killing me. And since I can still corner shoot very well, this is actually pretty good. Okay, the hawk is coming. He smelt his chance. I keep baiting their abilities very effectively here. That's cool. Okay, I locked down this guy, corner shooting, doing triple damage with the outer weapons. That's like firing with all four weapons now, but of course, he's, he's got cover to walk behind. Right now, they are still in control of this map. They are winning. It's 8 to 10, but I'm trying to give them the uh, no kills. Oh, he's rocking shield breaker. He's rocking shield breaker now because you know what he wants to do? He wants to finally kill me. I got him insta locked here and that, that's why he's taking some damage. My weapons don't hit him, but he's got shield breaker. That's how I can take damage without him going through my shield first. That's why, okay. Wow, I just lost my shield instantly in one hit. Did you see that? Did you see? I somehow lost my shield in one hit. That was a little awkward. Yeah, there's no point in trying to get this guy back on track. Okay. Kill killing the Aochun here first. And getting away from him. I'm faster than him, so that's not a problem. I can just dodge him without any problems at all. Wait, why is my shield still running? The shield still symbol is still there. But I'm not blocking any damage. Eh? I'm having a bug right now, guys. No, I am blocking damage, but I'm still taking damage. And I cannot use my shield. Let me face shift. Does that fix it, maybe? No, my robot is bucked. Dude, my robot is bucked now. Huh? I can't actually use my uh, my ability. Or or is my ability running all the time now? But I was still taking damage before. Huh? What is going on? Yeah, look, I'm sh I'm I'm blocking the damage. 
But this guy has Shield Breaker. We know that this guy has Shield Breaker. I need to get him before he flies again. Got him. Nice. Uh oh. Yeah, he's going down now with his shield breaker. I'm I'm not sure if my shield is actually working. But I think it's it's I'm not sh yeah, I don't know. Is the shield working or not? No, it's not working. See, they were able to kill me with the gendarme. So it's a it's a very weird glitch. It happens often, they say. Nothing new from Pixonic. All right, cool. I did not know that there was a, a bug like this in the game. Okay, he also has his suppression ability ready. I got just I just got double suppressed by two guys actually. I have to reload the machine guns. We are still in the game. I can suppress the enemy here and heal up my Arthur friend. I'm hoping that makes a difference. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage here from this. Yep, instantly got taken down by crossing uh, the plane just once. Alright. Would be good if we could lock him, but I think it's not going to happen. He might have overdrive because he doesn't actually have a uh, last stand from the looks of it. Okay, I couldn't get him. See that? I couldn't get him with the ability charge. Uh, because, yeah, wasn't possible. Uh, he had anti-control. And with anti-control, all he's got to do uh, is just, uh, you know, be there. Starting to fly up from up here with overdrive, bypassing his resistance. And then getting killed, probably. Yep. That Arthur is level 1 trillion, you can tell. It doesn't die. But now he is. He got me, even though I used phase shift, apparently. But I can, I can suppress him. Is someone else also firing at me? Yeah. Someone else is also firing at me, okay. Thought as much. Okay, I have uh, apparently the entire map now shooting me. Yep. I literally had all these titans, even from here, they were firing at me and this guy. So five out of six players had that firepower focused on me alone, even though there were two other players uh, in the game at this point. Uh, but yeah, so um, match over in seven seconds, but it was a full random. Let's check if we were full random or if we also had pre-mates, if we had a clan. Just for the info, this is one euro or something like this. No name. Hey, man, thank you, dude. Gla gla glad you let me know, dude. I never have any idea how much this is. Uh, Anthony Peets with a $5 super chat. Manny, glad I was able to catch your stream today. Always a good show. So what's new war about name are you going to go with? Yo, that's a good question. I got. I, I should probably go with one, man, because uh, I am receiving more focus than I, than I care to admit, man. So we had no players do teaming up. We didn't even have a duo team. We didn't have a triple team. We have nothing. F completely zero teaming play versus a full six-man pre-made squad. There is no way on earth we could survive this. There is no way on this planet we could ever survive this. And as long as Warawat makes crappy matchmaking like that, allows people like this to steamroll you... Um, I mean, they did a really bad job at steamrolling us. We still got 19 kills. Uh, but we, from the first second of gameplay, we didn't stand the slightest chance. Even if I do 5 million damage, even if I play for 3 people, we have no team play, we have no pre-mates. 
So if, as long as the matchmaker makes terrible matchmaking like this, there's no fairness going to happen in the game. And you, you can't expect to get into matches where you have fun all the time. And that's why we're launching a game. The game has only one purpose, to entertain us and to bring fun. We have lives that have troubles, we have all bad stuff happening in our daily lives. We do not need a game to make it worse. And matchmaking like this makes it worse. It makes it no fun to play. Why would I want to play a six-man pre-made squad with five players I've never seen, never interacted with? There's no no way we're gonna beat them, right? So matchmaking, act extremely terrible right there. And it's, unfortunately, this isn't even a rare thing. This is normal. It's actually normal that this happens. Uh-oh. I'm already taking some damage, which isn't too bad, because it gives me a chance to collect overdrive damage. Which I did right here, right? Still taking some from the corrosion. I actually let this guy fire at me for a little longer. Hydras are on me. Okay. Hydras were on me. Okay, got him. Now he can't go anywhere. Triple damage rolling in and his Ravana is down to low, le low health immediately. Alright, I need to take a little more damage now. He's using the third neck, the next ability mode. Now the Hydras are coming in too, and that's it. Yep, the Hydras are starting to roll in just in this moment. I have to kill the Hydra immediately. But I, I didn't get the Hydra player, I got someone else, I think. And this guy is doing corner shooting with me. Do they have two people doing... Uh, yeah, they have two players with a thing. They have two players with a uh, wasp. Why is still Hydra coming in? Someone is dropping my shield! That's why the Hydra is having fun with me. Someone is dropping my shield with bombs. See that? This guy is dropping my shield with rockets. And then the Hydra player is able to have fun with me. Normally, he wouldn't be able to have any fun. Because my shield would be there to prevent any type of damage from coming in. But the, the player with the Tulumbas is dropping my thing. He's dropping my shield. And that's why the Hydra player is able to, to take me down. I'm just praying right now to make it out of this alive. I'm just praying. I'm out of his weapons range. Yep, he's got 600. I literally had a 4 on money gaming gay going on right there. Hydra player on me for the since the very big What's going on with my hit points in the upper left? What the heck? Since the beginning of that game, that Hydra player was on Money Gaming. Since the match has began. And then we had this guy with his, um, uh, with his, uh, weapons. And then the other guy as well. Um, uh, with... We had two guys. Two guys with Wasp. One guy with, uh, Scourge. And the Hydra player on me. All, all, all of those people have done nothing other than going at me the whole time. That was crazy, man. All right, let's drop this guy. Bam, 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 bam. Oh man, that stealth really ruined it. My shield is still up though, so I am good on shield energy. All right, I'm still alive. Overdrive is running, so that's the good news. And that Hydra player is going to take damage now. Bye. Oh, he's face shifting. No, that's not the Hydra player. That's someone else. Okay. Maybe the Hydra player got killed. So what do we have here? What a crazy match that was, dude. You know, Hydras themselves are not really a problem. As long as it's just one of those players. Then the Hydras aren't a problem. The Hydra become a problem when, um, when you have other people dropping your shield. And then the Hydra can come in. Look, he's on me again! Oh no, wait. Here. Now we killed the Hydra dude. Okay. Nice. Oh my god, he locked me down. That's it. I don't know how he locked me. He had an instant lock, uh, lockdown ammo or something. 
So he did it. He did it. He finally got me. After all this work, he finally got me. And again, it was multiple people that re were required to do this. It, it needed a more multiple people to drop my shield so that then his weapons would be able to lock me down. I have another Hydra player on me. Wow. Crazy. Okay. So overdrive is now active. There's two people again with this. Spiral and Hydras, two people with this. You know what? I think they're playing together. I think they're a, a pre-made they're they're a squad. I think they are. I can't imagine these guys not playing together because they are really like focusing. Oh my god. No, you're not going to lock me down now. Oh my god, he does it again. I get locked down in again. He hit me with his entire ability. And I can't even drop him down to last stand. Of course, of course, of course. Instant- No, you're not going to lock me! Stop that stuff! That lockdown, dude! So, getting this guy- Nope, I have to reload now. That timing for the reload, man. That reloading timing is awesome. So, let's get one of those guys, and the second one of those guys, too. Reloading again! Oh my gosh! Annoying! Alright, got him. Down to two weapon systems on the robot. Ah. Yep, he's looking at me. And he got killed, alright. So I've never- I, I don't think I've encountered this many enemy Hydra players in the game ever, yet. Alright, starting to fly. Going for the Ao Chun first. Uh, Ao Ming, sorry. Then going for the Arthur from up here. Then obviously landing in safety. Actually, no. Let's jump, o jump over him and kill him like this. Alright. That was crazy. That was... So, if I counted this right, there were three different players utilizing Spiral and Hydra. All of them were firing at me, so my shield wouldn't work because, you know, if so many of them fire at you, the shield doesn't... Uh, is unable to protect you from this much damage. And and they had multiple setups, too. If I got this right, I think they had, like, a Hydra, and then they had Spiral Hydra, and then they had Spiral... something? Noricoms, maybe? I don't know. But there was a lot of these, uh, these crazy weapons. I wonder if they play together. I'm really gonna uh, be uh, um, like to know if they are in a duel because their their setups were so similar, right? I took one for the team. Yeah, I guess I took more than one for the team here because my team really had a hard uh, had a had a good time here. They didn't have to worry about those Hydra dudes at all. They did not have to worry about the Hydra players at all because I took them all. I took all of what they had. All of what they had was for me. Alright, going for it. Nice. Nightbot is dumb. <laughs> Why? What's happening with the Nightbot? Flying Titans pieces, yeah. All right, starting to fly here, activating resistance. Zing! Does he still have a robot, I wonder? Nope. You. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the, the end of this live stream. Um, it wasn't so easy to show you what I wanted to show you. That's a bit of the problem, right? Uh, this overdrive playstyle, I like it, but every scorpion in the game simply says okay you know what I want this guy out of the game and you know what he's gonna do he puts you out of the game and there's nothing you can do unless you have face shift or something um, with face shift it would be possible because you can do this and you know survive certain many many death death scenarios but 
As I said, I want to do the 300% damage, and for this I need a drone, active module, and then fire with 300%. And that doesn't work with all with phase shift because after using phase shift, I get more damage, but I can't fire. So the only we the only weapon that works with phase shift and 300% is vortex and uh, and something like this. Noricums and vortex weapons that unleash all their firepower at once. Those you can use with with phase shift and still run uh, tri uh, the triple damage. Um, but yeah, so uh, it wasn't the best live stream today. Sorry for uh, you know for my uh, bad performance. I guess I wish I could have shown you some more of the the uh, triple damage. Maybe next time. This time I felt like it was a bit unlucky, but uh, still we had a great live stream. CB with ten Mexican dollars. Thank you, CB buddy. Uh, Robert. Carps Carpenter uh, with a five dollar super chat. Manny Gaming always guaranteed to lose a weapon. That is true, my friend. That is true. Uh, although, wait, there was one situation in this game, or actually two, where I was at very low health and I had still all four weapons. Again, if there was a pilot skill in the game that would allow me to prevent weapon losing, I would take that. Because I'm the type of player with this overdrive business and the whole high risk. I need to get I need to go to low HP. So I can then heal back up to the overdrive range and then fire from there, right? I need that. But I cannot lose a weapon in the process, or else the whole overdrive is worthless because I'm, I end up with the same damage as I had before. So I really need a pilot skill that prevents weapon losing in the game. That is something Pixonic needs to do. They gotta do this. <laughs> um, so I would even replace some other things for it. Luis Andrade again with 50 Mexican dollars. Don't worry, dude. We still enjoy the streams, man. Thank you so much, Luis. This is so awesome. That was your third donation today. That was so much more than usual. And uh, thank you for, for the good time and for being here every time. Even if you're working, man. I appreciate this so much. So yeah, I'll, I'll be signing off here. I, I wish you all a good time. Uh, one more thing. Uh, we just reached 10,000 people on our Discord server, uh, 10,000 Warbots players most of all. So uh, guys, check it out, join the channel and uh, come in, find yourself players to play with, find some uh, some dudes you can, you know, do some team play with or find a clan or just, you know, enjoy, enjoy being able to post screenshots and, and such, get news. We have an announcement channel there where you get all the Warbots news and giveaways linked. So it's very good. So go in there, check out that channel, you find the... Uh, here, this server, uh, the link to join in, you find it in the video description and pinned comment. And uh, I'll be making this another announcement very soon. Oh, and by the way, Dominique, remember this? Huh? Yep, you do remember this, don't you? I'm just holding it into the camera for a little longer because I know Dominique is going to be watching and uh, looking into that, but he wasn't here before. This is, uh, yeah, this was from you. I'm using it a lot. It prevents my uh, desk from getting, you know, all bubbly with uh, bubbling... Uh, sugar water or something like this so yeah we had a good time great to hear that nightmare uh and uh yeah see you all in the next live stream money signing off bye bye <laughs> see you sucker money <laughs> harry says that see you man <laughs> Oh, and by the way, guys, feel free to use the stream chat to talk about things, whatever you want, right? The stream chat will remain live for a little while. But also the 